Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue or search and destroy video. Today we are actually continuing on with our little boat right here and as you guys can see we have done pretty much everything we need to. We've actually made it drive, we made it work and we've also painted it so that it actually looks kind of nice as well uh, and I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this thing is looking. However, I would say that this thing is lacking the military um, aspect, I would say. Uh, obviously, we've got the three missiles on the back in a launcher. I'm actually not very pleased with the way this actually works. I'm also not pleased with um, the way it looks, because I think it looks quite ugly. Uh, I think what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and have them fold off the side. Uh, we'll have a few launchers on each side, so we'll actually have three missiles on each side, and we'll have them fold outwards and only point forwards. Because this boat is agile enough to actually turn quickly enough uh, to aim them, I think that's probably the best idea. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so with all that being said, let's literally just go ahead and grab this guy like this, like this, like this, and go ahead and go to the back and grab all of this. Go ahead and cut it, delete all of this underneath, because it is unnecessary. And that is pretty awesome. We'll obviously go ahead and paint this bit as well, because uh, we should. And that'll be awesome. Very nice. Okay, so let's say we keep this as a missile launcher. We can actually go ahead and take this to the side. Uh, and we can launch it if we want to. Uh, we want it to go ahead and flip over so it's pointing that way. And whichever side has the floor on it. Okay, hold on. Like this. There we go. So we want this to fold out, out onto the side. Uh, and I think that'll be pretty awesome. So, how do we do that? Should we put it on sliders? Who knows? I actually don't know the way we should do this, to be honest. Um, if it is on sliders, then we'd actually be a little bit more stable. Uh, if it's not on sliders, I think it'll still work, to be fair. But anyway, let's go ahead and paste this right here. We'll go ahead and take another one to the other side, and we'll paste it in the same place, if that makes sense. Uh, and I think that'll be awesome. So there we go. Paste that right there. Very nice. Uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and delete this guy. And we're going to fill it in with these guys. One, two... We're going to delete this guy as well, fill that in, and that is pretty epic. We're then going to paint all of these guys, obviously, uh, and I think that actually looks really cool. Yeah, so I think I want it to slide, uh, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll make it slide. Okie dokie, so the way we are actually going to do this then is we're going to delete these two right here. Actually, we're going to delete this one, this one, this one, this one, and we're going to go ahead and put tracks in, uh, because I think that makes sense. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these guys in the bottom like this. Uh, and it's going to be, what, this color, I guess? Yes. There we go. One, two, one, two. And maybe even three. There we go. And maybe even four. All right, delete that one and that one. And we'll go ahead and put this guy right here. And I think that'll be awesome. So yeah, we can actually poke them out the side and push it that way. That seems like a really, really cool idea. We're actually going to go ahead and attach this on like so. There we go. That works. And same with this guy as well. We'll go ahead and attach that on like so. And this will be our pushy thingamabobby. And it'll obviously work. So that's always good. Let's go ahead and merge this up and hopefully it will work. Bam, bam. There we go. Bam and bam. And there we go. So those will actually be able to push the launchers out sideways. And um, yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and paint the inside now that we can see it. There we go. And we're also going to put these guys in like this one, two and three. And I think I might as well paint it as well. So we'll get this red color. We'll paint this little bit right here. And I think that works. Yeah, that's that's epic. I actually really like it. In fact, you can paint these pieces as well if we want to. Uh, I don't know whether that looks any good or not, but sure. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look good. We'll leave it just like that. That's pretty nice. Okay, so let's say that all works. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a throttle lever. Uh, this is no longer going to do it. So this is just a test platform, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect this down to this guy and this guy, as well as these guys as well. They're going to be on a switch box, so I'll push a button and that'll slide them out. Uh, and I think that'll be epic. So let's see if this works in the first place. And if there's anything else we need to do, we'll do it. We'll actually connect these up as well, uh, just because I can. So launch. Uh, okay, there's one. Launch two and launch three. And we'll see if all the missiles actually work. Because I think they will. I honestly think they will. They've got a good chance. Uh, we'll go ahead and give all of these guys electricity as well, because obviously we should. And we'll connect it to there. All right, very nice. We'll also connect this electricity, and yes, it'll work. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what it sits like in the water, and we'll actually push it out and see if it works. Okay, so do this to push them out. That is pretty epic, actually. Let's get inside and move this thing move forwards, and then we'll see how it goes. Go! Okay, 
Awesome. And they actually do fit on the side and they do actually look okay. Which is awesome. And then once we fire them, I guess they'll work too. So, let's spawn in a target and see what happens. Okie dokie. So there we go. There's a target right there. We will point the ship towards it, obviously. Or the boat towards it. There we go. We'll run out the back. We'll press 1. Okay, that's fired forwards. It has missed the target. Let's fire 2. That has also missed the target. Let's fire 3. That has also missed... Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I feel like the ones on the right side are actually all wrong. Uh, and the ones on the left side obviously aren't working either. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, hmm. Okay. It might just be that the missiles have all spawned in sideways. And that's not really helpful. That could be the case. In fact, that probably is the case. Yeah. Okay, so in order to actually fix this problem then, we're going to go ahead and delete all of the tops of this. There we go. Uh, we'll delete all of the back end of this as well. And then we can actually get to the missiles. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Cut that one all the way down to there. Cut it. Actually, no, that's not the way it works. <laughs> that is that is definitely not the way it works. We need to grab the top one. So, clear content. Grab only the top one. Cut it. We then need to rotate it around so that it fits in like this. And we need to do this for every single missile, which is fine. There we go. We then need to take it to this side and do exactly the same thing. Two. And then three. There we go. We'll obviously merge all of these together as well, because obviously we need to. Uh, we'll do the same thing on this side. That one, that one, and these ones. There we go. And then we need to do the same thing with all of these guys. And then we're good to go. Okie dokie. So all of that should actually be fine, except obviously these aren't actually attached to the thing anymore. So we need to attach them all to the thingamabobby. Uh, they'll probably all need electricity as well, but that's okay. And they also need their uh, composite signal uh, sending as well, which is super annoying, but that's fine. So missile output, go ahead and put it to there. Uh, whoa, that's not right. What the? Well, that's not right. Why isn't there a thing here? There is no thing here. What in the world? What in the world? There we go. All right, paste that there. Uh, obviously merge that one in as well. What the heck? Why wasn't that a thing? All right, put this to there. Uh, we also need electricity going to every single one of these. We also need the electricity going to the front as well. So I'm going to attach all of these together how they should be. And then I'll be back with you guys in a second once all of that is done. Okie dokie. So I think we've got all of that sorted. I could be completely wrong. And obviously I haven't put the sides back on, but that's fine. Let's go and extend these outwards and uh, we'll see if it works. Because I'm not sure if it will or if it won't. But anyway, let's go downstairs. Connect all of these. There we go. Go back upstairs and sit in the seat. Press 1. Go. It is working. All right, excellent. So we're driving forwards. We need to go towards the target, which is just out there. There we go. Point our ship towards it, our little boat. I should mention that it's a boat, not a ship. Uh, point that towards our target. All right, cool. Run to the back. Press one. It got close to the target and it dodged it. Okay, so something's wrong. Something is very wrong. Yes, something is very wrong. I need to replace that one thing on all of them and then reconnect it again and then try again. I think the orientation of the fins has been put in wrong, and um, yeah, obviously we've got issues. Okay, so I've actually moved the target because obviously there's no point in us actually starting the boat and moving it, because we have nothing to do with that this episode. So, let's go ahead and launch a rocket and see what happens. Go! Oh, yeah, I mean, it headed towards the target. Press 2, there we go. It heads towards the target and misses. It dives underneath the water and flies away. Alright, okay, these ones... We have a very, very low success rate, and I'm not sure why. Also, why is this doing this? Who knows? Okay, so I feel like we might actually need a little bit more of a uh, a longer a longer thing. So I think we're actually going to go ahead and delete these rocket launcher thingamabobbies, these pods that we've got them in. Uh, we're going to delete all of them all the way backwards because reasons, and we're going to go ahead and sort out the missiles so it's a little bit longer. I'm also just going to rebuild the entire thing because, yes, there's no point in having having these the way they are. So we'll leave them pretty much on show for now, and then we'll build the things, and then we'll build the things back around them once we've finished. That's a good idea, I think. Okie dokie, so let's go with missile. There we go, right. So we initially actually need a hard point, okay? That's the uh, most important part as of right now. Uh, and that needs to attach onto there because that's the way it works. There we go. Patch all of those on. Very good. We then need rocket booster parts. Here we go. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, maybe even that's probably good enough. Because our rocket actually runs out as soon as it like it gets anywhere near the target. Uh, and I don't think we want it to run out. I think we want it to keep firing just so it can definitely get to its target. So that makes sense. We're then going to go for one of these, obviously, because this makes sense. We want it to point forwards and 
that is forwards there like this and I don't think we want to actually mirror these I think we want it to be exactly as it is so that's gonna go in there just like this on both sides there we go awesome we would then want a booster so we'll do this 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 there we go and this this and this excellent and then we need the radar so we're gonna go ahead and get a radar the little tiny one here we go and we're gonna position that directly on the top just like so and it is exactly the same orientation as those guys so that makes sense and honestly, we're going to go ahead and do this. So static, yes. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll do the same as we had before. 0.08. And we'll do that for all of them. I'll be back once we've done that. Okie dokie. So we are listing now. Obviously, we have issues there. Uh, this is also a massive issue. I don't know what's going on with this. I guess it doesn't have any electricity. So we need to make sure it has some. So that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there. This goes up to there. And obviously it doesn't have any electricity because it's not connected to a battery. We connect it straight to a battery and now it'll work. Okay, good. Whee! There we go. Right, so we're going to go ahead and extend it outwards, obviously. We're going to go ahead and press 1. And that doesn't do anything because reasons. Um, yeah, because we haven't got a launch actually set up. We haven't got any of this set up. So all of these actually need electricity. There we go, to each other. Very good. There we go. That's all awesome. We'll do these to each other as well, obviously. There we go. And then these to each other as well, as well, as well. Very good. We're then going to go ahead and uh, turn these onto each other as well, because that makes sense. And yeah, there's a lot to do here, to be fair. So connect that to there, that to there, and that to there. Very good. Do exactly the same thing on these guys. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. And then one, two, three. Very good. So now they should all actually be able to fire or be fired. And that'll be epic. That'll be very good. I did die, so that's why we've got these right here. Um, ignore that. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. All right, there we go. Extend those out. Press 1. Let's see what happens. Oh, it gets very close to the target, and then it misses. Press 4. All right, that one just misses instantly. Those ones just fly away. Why do they just go up? I have no idea. Oh, okay, right. The reason they go up is because all of these are actually upside down. They all need to be the other way around, and then once they're the other way around, they're good to go, actually. So I'm going to replace all of those, and we'll try again. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and send them out again and see if it works this time. Press 1, go! All right, press 4, go! Oh, I think that actually almost... That one hit. It tried. They're, they're really trying, but they're not they're not good enough. Okay, so what I've done is I've made the fins a little bit less uh, sensitive, so they actually don't control it as much. Let's go ahead and see if that changes anything. All right, so that sent it in the wrong direction. That sent it into the ground. That sent it in the right direction and missed the target, but very close. Uh, this one, let's see if this works. Four. Sent it in the right direction, very close. Send it straight under the water. We might need it to actually be at an angle so that they actually aim upwards and then send it in like that. I think that makes more sense. Yeah. So how about we do that? <laughs> how about we do that? Okie dokie. So if we merge this with this and this with this, we actually have them able to turn now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a number as well so that we can actually have them turn at a certain angle. Actually, we'll go ahead and set that via this thing and hopefully that'll work. So whack that on there, go ahead and connect this to this one, and also to this one. I don't think this should actually be this difficult to do, I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and connect those up together and see what we can do. Let's go! Whee! Alright, there we go, so go ahead and do this. There we go, that's them up in the sky a little bit. Go ahead and push them out slightly, and then let's see what happens here. Okay, one's pointing down, one's pointing up. Alright, that's probably too far up, to be fair. Okie dokie, that's way too far. Let's do a little bit less. Press 2. Look how wiggly waggly they are. They're so wiggly waggly. Why are you so wiggly waggly, huh? Why are you wiggly waggly? Alright, let's go ahead and put this to 60% instead. And we'll see if the thrust is actually going to impact it at all. Uh, I don't know whether it will or whether it won't. But let's go ahead and put them all at 60 and see if any of them hit. Alright, here we go. 60, yes. And 60, yes indeedy. Alright, we're also going to put some weight on the bottom. Because honestly, this thing is... Is very wiggly waggly. <laughs> it's extremely wiggly waggly, guys, and we just can't be having that. Okay? No wiggly waggliness allowed. Alright, go ahead and put that right there. Go ahead and do another one. Actually, on both sides. Here we go. We're gonna have it be very, very low in the water, or at least a little bit more lower. There we 
There we go. Very good. And there we go. Okay, awesome. So that should be below the waterline now. Awesome. Should still float, though. Hopefully. If it doesn't float, I'm going to cry. But I'm sure it's fine. All right, we're going to go and do this a little bit. We're going to go and send this out. There we go. And we're going to fire. Okay, I like they are tracking, right? They are definitely tracking the right target, but they're all wiggly waggly still, and I'm not sure why. All right, also what we need to do is we actually need to swap this one around because honestly, it is the wrong way. So go ahead and cut this, press U, turn around. Wait, is that right? Is that right? Is that the way it should be? Yes, it is. All right, paste it there, do this and do this, and then it should be already connected. Yes, it is, and yes, it is. Okay, so all that's fine. Why isn't it working though? It needs to work better. All right, I've literally put the booster on 40% now instead of 60, and we're gonna go ahead and see if that works instead because I'm uh, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping it does. All right, we're gonna go ahead and input this to up a little bit. That's good. We'll go ahead and slide them outwards. There we go, excellent. And we'll up a bit, there we go. All right, press one. All right, direct hit, very good. Press four. Direct hit, press 2. Direct hit, press 5. Oh, that missed. Press 3. Oh, and press 6. 6 was way off, but honestly, the rest of them are actually completely fine. I'm happy with that. Okay, so, with that being said then, let's go ahead and delete this. We're going to have ourselves a number, which is going to be 0 0.05. Uh, so we go ahead and put that back here. Uh, that number is going to be 0 0.05 because uh, that's the uh, the angle that I want it at. So let's go ahead and put that on there. On there as well. That's pretty epic. Uh, as for these guys, we're going to have a switch box. So it actually pushes them outwards. And that's going to work for us as well. It's going to be great. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a switch box. Here we go. Go ahead and grab one of these. And we're going to actually put it on the deck. And it's actually going to be in this color because uh, it sort of fits on the deck. These these boxes, actually, they, they're really good at fitting in. So we'll go ahead and put that on there and there. We'll also put it on here and here. Um, I know I don't need two, but still, that's fine. Uh, and for right now, we'll actually put it on spacebar to actually make it work. Because I think that works. We'll then put this on one so that it actually goes out. Put this on one so it actually goes out as well. And I think that's fine. Excellent. Good. Okie dokie. So let's see if all of that still works. Let's jump down here. It doesn't work because there is no power to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, power to these guys. There is actually power, but there isn't, if that makes any sense. Uh, the reason we don't have power is because the things down there aren't turned on. So for right now, uh, well, actually, we'll go downstairs and we'll turn them on. Yeah, I think that's the best way of doing it, to be fair. So let's go ahead and swim up. I need a way. I need a better way of getting onto the boat. To be fair, as well. So we'll do that. But let's go ahead and do this. Okay, epic. Go ahead and turn the lights on downstairs and get this thing moving forwards. Maybe not very fast, but a little bit. There we go. Pretty cool. Uh, and I guess we'll just launch the rockets now. So press one. Has gone towards the target and hit the target. Very good. Two, four, five. Oh, they're, they're, I think they might be aiming for each other, but there we go. They all hit. Oh, that one blew me up. That one blew me up. That's not very good. <laughs> okay. So, yes, there is some issues with this. Oh, there can be issues with this. Um, but that's all right. It's okay. We can sort those issues out in the future. Um, is that because I didn't send them out? Oh, that's why. Okay, it's because I didn't even send the missiles out. I just shot myself with it. Whatever. All right, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here like this for now. Um, we have upgraded the missile system so they work. I do want to ask the question though. Shall we have it so that we actually have the missiles boxed in? Or should we have it where the missiles aren't boxed in? Because I'm not sure which way we want to keep that. Not sure. But anyway, that's up to you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.